barbershop conversation guys feel free hit the subscribe button hit the subscribe button so by now we've watched the fight let me get an angle for y'all by now you've watched the fight and the debate is over <laughs> the debate is over man the debate is over but before we do that don't forget tomorrow we're gonna have fun with this topic tomorrow in the shop 9 p.m pacific standard time we'll have uh um who will have well oh, we got regis pro grade coming in tomorrow so, so that's gonna be a live 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 show so uh make, make sure you guys are in the building for that and um got my hand over the mic canelo's a pound for pound king he is and caleb did as good a job as he could possibly do it wasn't good enough you know uh deontay wilder said you gotta be perfect for 12 rounds i gotta be perfect for two seconds but moreover than that caleb plant allowed him to cut the ring off in the first round and and what i mean allowed him was when he cut the ring off canelo didn't really have nothing to think about because he knew that caleb by the third round he knew caleb was going to keep that right hand home because of canelo's left hook and and because of that he um i'm trying to find a perfect angle um it was an easy fight canelo i mean caleb plant was a one-handed fighter for 11 rounds and when you're a one-handed fighter it's not much you can do man like he was a one-handed fighter it's not much you can do and um um canelo's pressure is insane y'all it is man and 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 it's no point even talking about the peds it's no point like i said caleb took the 10 million and al Heyman paid him 40. in terms of the in terms of the landscape of boxing in terms of your personal life yeah you can yell to them to the cows come home it ain't changing it ain't changing you know um canelo's the pound for pound king the debate is over the debate is over you're looking at what it, it it looks like to see an athlete that feels like he's invincible he feels like he's in his prime um and uh that's what we're looking at the man is special right now and uh he's in his michael jordan phase as i say um i thought canelo was splendid i thought caleb plant was good but he wasn't great he wasn't great he had to be great for 12 rounds and he and the problem is he had to keep that right hand home he did he he didn't turn go watch my my videos i did in september about can larry wade get him power can larry wade get him confident in his right hand to turn it over and i thought caleb plant wasn't confident enough to turn that right hand over um and I talked about him leaning over at the waist. That leaning over at the waist got him caught. Go watch my videos. I I, I think y'all need to re go go revisit those videos about Caleb Plant that I did early on in September and early October. <laughs> He's a problem, dog. Nobody beats him but David Benavidez at 168. I think Jamal Charlo was target practice. I think he's he don't have no bend in his legs uh he doesn't really have a head movement uh he has a good jab but he's upright on his jab he's not he, he's not really bouncy doesn't have an inside game he has rangy power um but canelo's gonna slip a lot of that stuff do i want to see the fight i absolutely do want to see the fight um and i absolutely want to see the charlos be aggressive like how they are today i i, I saw a video of then with Jared Hurd, Jared Hurd was with his wife. You know, like, I don't, I don't, I don't get it, man. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't understand what their, what their goal is. Or, is, or the Charlos goal is to be hated by everybody. You know, like, 
women and children. Didn't Jamel say he from the streets? He got killers. Women and children, man. Women and children. Come on, man. We got to have a level. Of, and you're with your wife, right? You're with your girl, man. Come on, let's keep it. Man, let's keep it boxing, man. Y'all get paid millions of dollars, man. You know what I mean? Keep it boxing, man. If you disagree with it, yeah, get as loud as you want. But <laughs> they going to have a rough post-boxing career because they're not going to have the influence to be as strong. People just going to wall them off and be like, who cares? You know? Um, they're already on the B side. They done built up PBC, and now they're on the B side, dog. Like, the business of boxing, man, it's just different. But congratulations to Canelo. This was the first Canelo fight that I had a chance to watch and just just watch him. I wouldn't say enjoy because I was rooting for Caleb hard. Like, I was really, really rooting, rooting for Caleb. I gave Caleb rounds one and three, and there was like round six, I think it was. And then everything, there was maybe one 50-50 round, but you're not getting a 50-50 round. So I had, through 10 rounds, I had Caleb. I had Caleb with three rounds for sure. And you can go 7-3 or whatever the case you want to be. But uh, Caleb's not winning no 50-50 rounds and no close rounds. So, um, yeah, man, it's. Caleb got to turn over on his on his punching power, you know he he has to. But he he was handsomely rewarded for his first efforts, and uh, he's he earned it. He earned it. He put himself in that position, and um, he can. He had a beautiful family, got a beautiful team, and I wish Caleb well. I, I think Darrell versus Caleb Plant is a great fight in April. I think it's a great fight sometime in April. Um, the sad thing about now is nothing happens until Canelo picks his opponent. And 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 here's how PBC done effed up. They had Caleb Plant and Jamal Charlo. They are not prepared, resume-wise, to get in the ring with a K. I mean, with a Canelo. Jamal Charlo has. No one on his resume at 160. For two years or three years, he's been fighting guys that he's supposed to watch. Matt Corball gave him a tough challenge. I thought Matt Corball, that fight could have went either way, too. If you go back and rewatch that fight. But Jamal Charlo's going to fight him with 11-month layoff. You can't beat Canelo like that, man. And, and, and that's why y'all get mad at me, but. Caleb, 10 months, January, right? Jamal Charlo, 11 months. That's it. And Canelo's going to drain the swamp. And ain't going to be no money left. It ain't going to be no, it's not going to be much money left at PBC. Everything's going to be on pay-per-view. Y'all fighters got to start looking elsewhere because Canelo's going to drain the swamp. And when he leaves, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be over, you know. And um, But I, I will say this about Canelo. He respects his bloodline. He holds Ryan Garcia accountable. I saw him in admiration of Tiafima Lopez. And this is why I, I get on the N-word. He, he, wants to, he wants to identify himself with Canelo, but uses the N-word. Like, I... I don't understand how y'all just let this man just get away all weekend. I, I don't get it. I don't understand it at all. Don't get it. But who am I? Um, um, yeah, man. So congratulations, Canelo. Tomorrow night, tomorrow night, we're going to be rocking. It's late over here in L.A., so I'm about to go to bed. So my energy is not where y'all typically get it. But uh, um, you get an extra hour of sleep. Don't go early to Sunday school tomorrow, y'all. <laughs> and uh, that's where we're at. So uh, I got this shirt because some of y'all going to ask, Fred, where'd you get this shirt from? I got it from Soul Folks in Lamert Park. So feel free. S-O-L-E-F-O-L-K-S. I got it from Soul Folks. So 
every time I wear it, people always ask about it. So I figured y'all in the video, y'all gonna ask about it. So, um, yeah, man. And, and, uh, it is what it is, man. Congratulations to Canelo. This is the first fight. He gonna, he gonna run the gamut. David Benavidez and Canelo is now the A1 fight in boxing. Now it's funny how you, you when you lose momentum, if Chance Crawford looks great, then maybe uh, Crawford Spence propels Canelo and Benavidez. But I see that fight next September. I see him with Kyron Davis. I I'm a big fan of David Benavidez. He talks like a fighter, acts like a fighter, fights like a fighter. And uh, it's hard not to like him. It's easy to love David Benavidez. It's easy to love their family, man. You know? And uh, um, congratulations to uh, Canelo. Canelo is the pound for pound best fighter in the world. And PEDs are irrelevant because you have black fighters carrying the WBC belt. They're not giving it up protesting. So why should we? Be a fan. Enjoy the sport, man. Um, don't get emotionally involved too much. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, man. They gonna make their money, and that's why I tell you guys to pull your money out until you get until you get what you what you rightfully deserve. The best fight, the best. Mm. And honestly, Canelo. <laughs> Canelo is really giving me y'all. He's giving. He's on. He's on run the gamut. He's gonna give y'all the best three fights that PBC has to offer. And uh, and then him and Eddie are gonna do great business. He's gonna he's gonna have shares in the zone. He's going to uh, put on cards again in Mexico and all around the world. Canelo Promotion. Did y'all notice Canelo Promotions? They said that name before TGB Promotions. Did y'all pick up on that? Pretty interesting, right? Canelo got the power to do anything. The man getting forty million dollars. Al Heyman is praying this fight did six hundred thousand. Anyways, I gotta take a shower. I'm done for the night. I'm gonna go watch some videos and stuff as I unwind. And uh, um, I'm pretty sure Blue Blood is gonna be dropping three or four videos tonight. Holla at Blue Blood, man. Blue Blood does a great job post fight, uh, dropping three or four videos and breaking down the interview. So go support Blue Blood. He does an extraordinary job over there. And uh, um, but yeah, man. I genuinely appreciate you guys. Barbershop Conversations. We got nine wives below. Click the link for nine wives. And uh, we got Regis Prograde coming. Oh, the barbershop going to be hot tomorrow. The barbershop is going to be hot tomorrow. And uh, Barbershop Conversations. Nine wives. Regis Prograde. And Canelo is the pound for pound king. And it, feel free to debate me if you like. Who's number one? You know, it's, it's hard. I'm gone, y'all. Holla.